Uh, I haven't tried. Uh, I honestly wouldn't go that Okay. Like, the way I look at it, if that broke, don't take it. Right. If you want any, you know, extra stuff like safety or anything like uh -huh. that, what I do, run by Lowe's real quick. There's one right up the road. Okay. Pick up some of those bungee straps and sit as bad as it's been. Today is freaking Monday, okay? Today is Monday, and I'm currently at Express Auto Change, Auto Oil Change. <laughs> so I was about to um, head back to the city. If y'all don't know, I did wreck the other day. I don't think I told y'all that, but I wrecked the other day. And, um, oh, my bad, y'all. I'm Sean, if you're new here. <laughs> Welcome to your girl channel. <laughs> Look at me, just already telling y'all my life story. You don't even know who I am. But anyways, yeah, so... I wrecked the other day and I bent up my hood so I just want to be sure that it's not going to like fly off or anything on the road so I came to Express Oil Change to check and see so he just said that it looks pretty fine um but I could go to Lowe's or something and get the little things to like hook it or something I personally don't know how to do none of that but the way he was just pulling on it it surely wasn't coming up so I feel like I'm good and I'm gonna just drive safe and slow um until i make it home or whatever so yeah it's monday new week i'm excited for this week girl we're getting to work this week okay we're getting to work like i'm so happy i'm in a good space like i feel like i'm ready i'm motivated to you know get back on my stuff you feel me because i haven't been here well i mean y'all seen the vlog or a vlog before this but that was just all the footage from like while i was gone so this is me like actually in real time now vlogging like it's not just through together footage you know so yeah um we're about to head back um home and yeah i'm excited for this week girl i got packages coming in yeah <laughs> we've made it home and like Tell me why it's literally a mess in my room. Like, this is really a disgrace. Um, yeah, so I have like clothes on here because I have a jelly she haul that I'm supposed to be doing. Like, some of these clothes is like mixed in, some of them is like you know, clothes I've already had. Then I had ordered some stuff from Fashion Nova. Then, like, the jelly she stuff is on the bed too. So, it's just a whole lot, a whole lot of going on right now. Um, but I do have packages that, uh, I wanted to show y'all. I don't know if my camera is, um, all right. So yeah, like I'm literally, I really wasn't planning on coming home to clean up, but this is what happens when you leave your room like this. Like usually I make sure that my room is clean so that I don't have to do this when I come home, but I was rushing the last time. Um, I live here so all the pack I went to my P.O. box before I came home so I have a couple of things that I need to open up but I'm about to clean my room up first so I get everything situated or whatever and then we're going to open some packages together um I'm trying to see do I want to do a haul though because one of the packages I may actually want to do like a haul I may I don't know yeah I gotta see if it's enough items and if it'll even amount to a good haul if i was to because i really like just ordered stuff like it's like it's not organized and most of the time whenever i want to do a haul i make sure it's like haul worthy you know all the items are like haul worthy you know anyways let me get to cleaning so that we can open these packages okay yeah so the first thing that i'm gonna open up I might as well just go ahead and show y'all. Oh man, I'm gonna run out of storage, wait. <laughs> so, the first thing that I guess I'll open up is, or go ahead and show y'all, is the stuff that I had got from Fashion Nova, which is really not even that much, but I'ma just show y'all because, I mean, why not? And yes, I'm on the floor. Don't judge me, okay? I need to like finish decorating my room, but y'all know I be changing my mind every few days. So 
I got these gray pants in a size one. Most of my pants are a size three, but I'm just like, all of my pants be too big and I'm like over it. So I think I'm gonna just clear out like everything that we gonna do. We probably gonna do that in this vlog or in another vlog where like I'm gonna clean out my closet and stuff and get rid of a whole lot of stuff because I just need to. I already cleared out a whole lot like on Christmas, but I just feel like I need to do it again. Like I feel like I took it easy, but no, I really need to get rid of stuff that I really know I'm not gonna wear. Like, girl, you know you're not gonna wear that. So just get rid of it. But anyways, I got these gray pants in a size one, cause I don't have any gray pants. So I got those and I got these gray pants, which both of them are in a size one and they fit really, really nice. So I'm excited about that. Both of those are real cute. Then I got this graphic tee look like this and this is a size small but it's kind of big but it's cute though so i just got this graphic tee yeah that's really cute um i was planning on wearing it i don't know because i don't even know i could actually wear that with my yeezys um and then i grabbed these shades i've never ordered any shades off of fashion nova but i got these because i feel like they'll be super cute um with my hair like in a bun to the back you know like it's gonna give a vibe if it'll open if they even look cute on my face which i hope they look cute on my face but most of the time oversized shades do me justice so let's see point of xenopatic uh-huh i'm pushing p Oh, I love these. Oh, wow. I actually really like these. Because then it's like big on the side too. So yeah, they definitely a vibe. And I hate how my camera be getting dark whenever like I have on shades. Those are bomb. Okay. So that's from Fashion Nova. Some of these packages, I don't even know what they are. To be honest. Like. Because I went to my P.O. box and it was a lot. Now, I know one of these is um, my package from Shein. I know for a fact this is Shein. Um, let's see. I don't know what this is. Yeah, I have no clue. I have no clue what this is. I'm pretty sure this is sponsored work and then this is work both of those are work let me open this up because i don't know what this is y'all i'm a little scared i don't recall ordering nothing else unless i forgot i ordered something oh she had just sent this in a different package than the rest of my stuff okay it's not the kind of gold that I thought it was. I don't know if I like this. I mean, it's not bad though, but yeah, I just got this little gold clutch bag because I needed some like clutch bags or whatever. So yeah, that's cute. She and stuff always be like, it has a distinct smell. Okay. <laughs> Especially the purses. Let's see these clothes, child. And I think I have another purse in here too, like a little black one. A black bag, I think. I may end up doing a haul though, so I may not even show y'all what this stuff look like. Cause I might just do a haul, honestly. I think I'm gonna just do a haul. So yeah, just stay tuned for the haul so y'all can see these clothes, okay? Because y'all been asking me about a haul for Shein, so I may as well just do that. And then I have another package coming in too, so yeah, I'm gonna just do a haul. But anyways, um, I'm about to finish editing because I still have to edit or finish editing that super long vlog that I was telling y'all about from like all of the old footage or whatever um, that I had bunched up over the time that I was gone. So, I'm about to finish editing that um, so I can get that out, like, this week, probably. And then, 
call it a night. Um, I'm also go, I mean, not go. I need to write down my agenda. I need to plan out this week. I plan on having a really, really productive week this week. So I need to write down on my agenda what all I need to do or whatever. And I'm gonna finish trying on these jewelry she clothes um, that I have to do a haul for. Y'all gonna see this vlog like after y'all see that haul though. But one thing I do know is these clothes big. So I was really like tempted to just be like, yeah, I don't even want to do this haul anymore. But I'm going to just get it out the way and I'm, I just know better next time. Because like I tell y'all, they're literally like always a hit or miss. Like it's clothes in there that could fit and then some of them will be super big. But they all be the same size. But I mean, you get what you pay for. But I just, this year, I just really don't even want to like put myself in that category. This year, I want nothing but the best. I don't want to show y'all anything but the best, you know? I don't want to be promoting anything but the best or at least, you know, good quality stuff. Cause I plan on, you know, starting to shop at other places. Like I plan on starting to, you know, branch out with where i be shopping and stuff and just really becoming that girl okay so when you become that girl it's certain stuff that you just don't even you know so yeah I'm not gonna really speak on that too much but y'all get what i'm saying and another thing is i just don't really want to even much be like telling y'all or what's the word like influencing y'all to go and spend your money on something that's going to be a hit or miss you know and not even just them but just overall i just want to make sure that anything that i'm telling y'all about is somewhere that i really really truly would shop myself you know so yeah but enough of that i need to do my hair i'm also filming like another vlog at the same time that i'm doing this because like i said girl your girl is trying to come back with the come back like i'm trying to be putting out vlogs like crazy okay so um i'm doing like a maintenance vlog in the midst of this but i wrote down my to-do list in my notebook or whatever so i'm doing like a lot of content today too so basically um i need to film content for these vitamins for my instagram story i also wanted to film a couple reels so i wanted to do two reels but i don't think i'm going to get to that until tonight because right now i need to focus on just installing this wig right now and then i have to take my brother to his haircut appointment so yeah, I plan on doing that tonight. So yeah, just a whole lot of content going on today. Like it's a content day kind of. And then tomorrow is going to be pretty busy too. Basically this whole week is going to be pretty busy with content. So this is kind of going to be like a content vlog. But then again, not for real. Not really, but kind of if you get what I'm saying. But first things first, I need to go do this head because this okay <laughs> i got inside my bag and got out my feelings some of my feelings hey everybody what's it like yeah anyways y'all see my hair y'all like it we like we like her let's get the bill Purr. I don't know why that is like stuck in my mind and I can't stop seeing it anyways I got a new um I got two new packages from Amazon my fashion over package is not here yet and I don't understand what's taking sister girl so long okay like I need her to come on do you know why Okay, let's switch to stop it. No, there's nobody on my wrist, but I haven't had to walk it to this morning. Mm -hmm. Monday, Sunday, you know I'm street running. Okay, so I know that these are literally nothing. Y'all probably don't even care, but I'm gonna just show y'all. Because I finally got um a new. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to open it like this. I finally got a new. um 
what do you call it? Car mount. Because y'all know for the longest I had that car mount, but like it didn't fit like on my window. It had my camera like like too close to my face. So I got one where it sits on my dashboard instead and then I just screw it so it can just sit up there like how I be sitting it on my dashboard already. It just don't be secure. <laughs> So I got one that's like that. Hopefully it works, but I mean, it's not like I can use it right now because like I said, y'all know I got an erect. So I wish they would have sent me like two adhesives so little sticky things to go on it because I could put it like on my rental car. And then another one for whenever I start back driving my car. But yeah, I mean that's really nothing. I probably don't even care to really see that. Now this here is a kind of it's kind of more exciting. I got a planner for 2022. I think I really really now that I think about it, I really wasn't paying attention to what year. So I really hope that I put in 2022 planner because that would be bad. Oh, oh, it is 2022. Okay, perfect, and it's gray, so it matches my room. Maybe I should take it out of the packaging for y'all to see. Is that my phone? Like, you don't make any noises. Oh. It's my editing app telling me that I have an unfinished video. They basically telling me that I have work to do and that I need to get on my sh I mean, it's cute. Yeah, cute and simple. I just really, really needed a planner because I don't have a planner for 2022 and that's not good because like I right now, I just been writing down in my notebook like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday <laughs> and I don't like that. So yeah, I got this one and y'all tell me why it was literally, literally $5 on Amazon. Yeah, so if you need you a cheap planner, girl, Amazon got you. I'm really excited about this because yeah. This week was like supposed to be really busy. Well, this week is about to be busy. Like, I'm about to get to work right now. I'm about to um, go in here and probably shoot these. Vi Actually, I'm not going to do that tonight. I'm probably do that tomorrow. I'm going to probably shoot that tomorrow. The, um,. No, actually, I may do that. Go ahead and do that tonight so I can send it over to them. I need to shoot my story content for these companies and then some reels that I plan on shooting. So, yeah, we may get a little behind the scenes. Good morning. Okay, so right now it is, um, what time? I don't, oh, 10 12. Okay, so right now it is 10 12 and I just got out of my therapy appointment so I had therapy this morning now I need to go home well I'm gonna grab something to eat I really 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 want some Starbucks y'all I haven't had Starbucks in a long time and I really want some Starbucks so I'm gonna probably get some Starbucks so I'm gonna grab that and then I have to get home and film I have to film my life update video which I would have already seen before y'all see this vlog but I have to film that today and then I have to go to the shop I have two clients to do and then later on I have my last appointment um, which I will see in another vlog cuz I don't know if I told y'all or not but I'm doing like um a maintenance vlog or whatever so yeah y'all see me get my lashes done and everything in the other vlog but therapy went well i have some homework to do child because like this is just a transparent moment but i really have a problem like i have issues with trusting people and i'm starting to see now that it's not just certain like it's not just particular people you know like it's not just like oh this one person that maybe i'm cool with or in a relationship with or this person da da da, da. like it's literally any and everybody like i literally have a problem with trusting people just being transparent here so that's something that i am trying to figure out i'm trying to get to the root of and figure out why am i like this like what caused this what is it that makes me side eye everybody that i come in contact with and just not be sure of you know um so 
for a long time like in my life like yeah that's fine and I was cool with that but honestly it's just not fun like it's not how I want the rest of my life to be I don't want to live my life being suspicious you know or like having to side eye every single person in my life you know and just never really being comfortable with people like it's it's really bad like i wish y'all knew how bad it was but i'm telling you it's so bad like when i say i don't trust nobody i mean i don't trust nobody like i know people throw that out there but mine is legit <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even cute it's not good it's not healthy um and i'm happy that i'm coming to the realization of that early on and i'm not like 40 years old still like this because i want to be able to create you know lifelong friendships with people i want to be able to be open with people i want to be able to like trust people you know because relationships are built on trust relationships are built on vulnerability relationships are built on like hard times together you know and somebody really being able to see the true you and you in every aspect like and I am somebody who I only let people see the good I don't tell people my business I don't tell people nothing you know so you really only know if somebody is your true friend or if it's a good relationship when these people can go through the storm with you you know because i feel like not having that not having people that you could really truly go to and like open up to and stuff is really um what's the word i can't think of the word right now y'all know what i'm trying to say y'all know what i'm trying to say it's like um I can't think of it but it's like bad for a human you know like not being able to open up and just having to bottle everything in because you don't trust being able to like talk to people you don't trust nobody with none of your stuff that you're going through da -da -da -da, all that kind of stuff like that's not good and holding stuff in can lead to other health issues like literally if y'all didn't know my therapist told me this but like bottling everything in that's how you start having headaches pain like body aches all that because you're literally holding in all of that stuff and yeah so that's not good that's what i'm learning but all throughout my life like before therapy honestly and that's why i, I will say if you're not in therapy and you feel like matter of fact you you don't even have to feel like nothing girl therapy is just something to be in and it's good for self-development at any age like just do it because it could be things that you weren't even aware of that you could better yourself at um and grow so yeah if you're not in it even if you're not down depressed whatever the case may be i highly highly suggest you get into therapy because it's just another person to talk to and if you're someone like me it's it's for some reason it's easier for me to talk to strangers than people i know not complete strangers like professional strangers <laughs> like like my therapist <laughs> but it's easier for me to talk to her about how i'm feeling or what i'm going through da -da 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 -da, than it is for me to talk to like the people closest to me you know so yeah she's just really getting me through there and teaching me about myself so yeah i just wanted to get that out of the way i don't know why i just really wanted to tell y'all that because i just really want this year to be a really great year in all aspects um so that means business wise self wise like i really want my self development to be on a thousand this year um, and I know I'm still so young like I'm literally only 21, but I don't care It doesn't matter. I would rather you know learn this stuff and you know like correct this stuff before I'm old You know, like I would just rather get it out of the way now than be old and Still bottling stuff up <laughs> <laughs> and that's just something also i know that 
I want to correct this because I don't want this to be something that I pass down to my kids. I don't want my kids to feel like they can't talk to anybody. I don't want my kids to feel like, oh, they can't trust anybody. I don't want my kids to, you know, just how I am. I don't want my kids to be like that. So yeah, I'm ready for my Starbucks now. <laughs> My dad. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank thank you. Like, oh, okay, that's fine. Thank you. Right now. I'm so sorry. You're fine. Oh, that the yes? Are you having a nice day? Yes, I actually, I just left therapy, so oh, yeah. Oh, therapy is awesome. Yes, I love it. <laughs> or you could just save it for later, maybe. Make it like some more money. I know I'm not gonna like it, but we'll see if my mom likes. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I know, I know I'm not. Uh, I know. It's like if I get too much caffeine in me, I get like jittery. It's the coffee. I think I I, I'm not really a coffee answer. girl. Oh my god. But I just love like vanilla latte. But it just has to have so much sweetness into it. Yeah. It's so good. Because you have to like, because like I like the coffee taste as well. Right, just a little, just yeah. a little. Kind of better. That looks better. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Thank like you. The other one as well? Which one? Ooh, ooh, she can oh, oh. Thank you anyway. <laughs> you too. You're fine. Okay, so I'm at home now. I feel like I always say okay, y'all. Anyways, I'm back at the house. Um, I've been here for a little second, actually. I posted my reel of me doing my hair, like a quick little a mini reel or whatever. Um, so. Right now, it look, it's doing pretty good, to be honest. Actually, like, I literally posted it, what? I literally just posted it. Well, I posted it 33 minutes ago. And it's doing pretty good. It's actually doing better than the last one that I posted, the little chill night in the life one. Um, it has more views than that one already, and it's only been up for 30 minutes. So, I guess y'all like those. So, if y'all like those... Let me know in the comments. I mean, obviously, I can kind of tell, but I'm also going to ask them, like, on Instagram to a poll. Like, so, now that I see that y'all like me doing, like, a quick reel of an install, because y'all definitely don't watch, like, wig install videos on YouTube. Well, not on my channel. Maybe on other people's channel, but on my channel, y'all don't watch that. But now that I see that y'all like that, okay, might be on or something. Because, like, I really don't even like recording wig installs myself so but me doing the reel or whatever like the little quick little clips and it just being so cute and effortlessly flowing together like how it did i enjoy making the reel even though i made the reel at the same time that i was filming the youtube video but the reel is nothing real quick and simple i can do that okay i can do that and these hair companies need to learn that, like, y'all got to go with the flow of what the people like. Like, people don't really... Now, if that's your channel and that's what people like your channel for, yeah. But nowadays, everybody know how to install a wig. Nobody like wig install videos. Like, it's, it's very tired. It's tired, girl. It's tired. Like, the girls are not watching that no more. So, like, the hair companies need to learn and understand because i know i'm not the only one who like the companies be wanting you to do a dedicated wig install they don't watch that nobody is gonna obviously so you're not gonna you're not gonna get any buyers because nobody is watching a boring dedicated wig install you gotta 
go for what the content creators are doing now what the people are into what the people are watching you know like if you really want people to buy your stuff if you want good feedback from your promotion or whatever the case may be like you know so yeah they they need to y'all need to learn because i see now y'all like tiktoks or like reels or whatever quick little install video on the gram versus a youtube video anyways i forgot to take my vitamins this morning but i just ate them i had my two vitamins y'all i'm really really obsessed with them vitamins y'all like i'm if you know me i've literally bought so many vitamins and i never ever actually take them because my worst fear is the last time i tried to take vitamins i always felt sick after taking them and i know you're supposed to drink a lot of water whenever you're taking your vitamins or whatever but even when I was drinking the water or whatever the case may be, I still felt sick after taking them. But I want to be taking vitamins, you know, like I want to incorporate vitamins into my daily routine. So I'm just super scared of vitamins because they break me out too. I feel sick and they break me out. But I've been eating these vitamins. I eat two a day. I've been eating for three days. So my face hasn't started breaking out. I don't feel sick none of that if anything i feel like maybe it's helping my face so yeah and i'll probably end up like those vitamins were actually sent to me by a company like they're sponsored or whatever the case may be not on youtube but they were sent to me by a company so i have to like post them but i really actually like them vitamins now like for real to the point that I'm thinking about actually going back and ordering the hair, skin, and nail vitamins that they have. Because they have three different kinds. So I have the immune booster vitamins. And I got those because, like, I just didn't really want to try out any hair, skin, and nails. Because most of the time, that type of stuff be breaking me out. But I'm going to give it a shot. Just because these have most of the ingredients in them that, like, the other, vit uh, the other vitamins that I be taking. But they're not causing me to break out or anything so i think i want to order the hair skin and nails one even though they kind of have the same ingredients the only thing that i read um that's different is obviously it has biotin in them so i'm kind of scared of biotin though and i know you're supposed to like make sure that you're drinking your water and stuff with that but i'm not i haven't even been drinking like water like how i'm supposed to since i've t started um taking those vitamins and that's what i'm saying and they taste so good. Like, they literally taste like freaking candy. But I'm about to um, edit the this video, the hair video, the um, YouTube video. I just said the hair video, this video, all that. But now I'm about to edit the YouTube video right now. I'm going to get that sent over to them. And then I'm going to finish editing the long vlog. I'm to the end of it now. I'm to the New Year's portion that I'm going to add in. So I'm at the end of what that vlog is going to be. And then also, I think that's going to be all the work that I'm going to do for right now. Just edit that hair video and finish editing that vlog. And then I have my lash appointment at 4 o'clock for my touch-up that hopefully I'm able to make it to. I need a rental car. I haven't got it yet because they messed up my the police reporter. Some chop. I don't know what's going on. But all I know is... I'm going to have a rental car by this weekend if I have to just go and get a rental car myself, you know? Like, not through the insurance and stuff like that because I can't be out here carless. I have stuff to do, you know? So, yeah, I'm about to edit. I'm about to get to work. Per. Let's get the bill. Oh, my God. I, I told y'all. It's stuck in my head. Oh my god. Come on, please. Like, I really don't have all night. Y'all, I'm over here. Like, I know. When did I leave off? Where did I leave off? I think. I think I was. I don't know if I'm going to add the clip in there. But I ended up taking Braxton to the vet today. My initial plan was to take Braxton to the vet on Friday when he's done getting his grooming because he has a grooming appointment on Friday. So I was going to take him to the vet after his grooming appointment. But since his vet is near where I get my lashes done, I just went ahead and did it real quick while I got my lashes done. I dropped him off 
and then went back to go pick him up or whatever so i took him to the vet he got his fecal exam today because it was due on friday but i just went ahead and got it out of the way it won't really make a difference i don't think or at least i hope not he was good no worms or anything like that so i'm glad i got that out of the way so friday my only thing or the only thing on my agenda for friday now is to take him to his grooming appointment which is in the morning and i'll be free okay so right now i was just sitting here finishing up some editing and i was just like in my agenda for the year because i had to check off some things that i had to do today so on my agenda for today y'all i had my therapy appointment this morning and uh, then i was supposed to have clients which y'all know i didn't end up getting to do then i had my lash appointment and then i also had take breaks to bed so that's done and also to um send over my sponsored video that i recorded yesterday to that company that's done i haven't sent it over to them yet um was well, not done all i have to do now is add music like little finishing touches to the video so i'm glad that i have that out of the way so it's 10 22 now today won't be a late work night so that's good i also have to select some items for for a company that i'm uh, about to work with so i need to select my items and send that over to them and then also i need to add music to a video that's supposed to be going up tomorrow the video is done all i have to do is add music to it and that's what i'm sitting over here doing right now that's why i was like ugh, just then because i mean it's done but one thing or one con to me doing all this editing and doing everything like based off of my phone and not editing on my computer and stuff is at some point I run out of storage and I have to keep on deleting stuff, deleting stuff and deleting stuff and deleting stuff. And I have to be careful that I don't delete a clip that I need for the video when I'm deleting stuff. But oh, that's what I'm over here trying to do right now. Like y'all and then it's like my mind is everywhere today because I was filming, I was trying to film like a day in the life reel while also filming a uh, maintenance reel because that's like gonna be chopped up from today and tomorrow. And then I was vlogging on top of that, vlogging for the weekly vlog and vlogging for the maintenance vlog. All in all, it's really making me happy to be honest. Like I, I love this. I don't like how dark my camera is. Whoa, whoa, she was super dark just now. Oh my God, I'm so sorry for how that looked. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I just know that that was so dark just then. And I just, what was I thinking? What was I looking at? But anyways, like I was saying, it's, it honestly makes me happy though. I'm so happy that I'm back in my groove, back motivated, back on it i uploaded a reel today tiktok today um with me doing my hair like i told y'all earlier it, this i honestly and truly love what i do like as far as this to be honest i'm really figuring that out now that this actually really makes me happy so i never behind me but let me go and look over this stuff so I can get it. My stomach is hurting, y'all. And I know it's because I ate bad yesterday. I had Chick-fil-A yesterday. And I had Church's Chicken. What was I thinking? Like, my stomach hurt so bad. My I had to, my stomach is what woke me up this morning. It's hurting so bad. Like, today is not the day for it to be feeling like this. Like, I have so much to do today. The way my stomach set up right now, like... No, ma'am.
Put your mama on the heart, yeah. Got me crying all the time. Oh my god, y'all, because I've never did, I, I think this is my first, this is my first time ever doing, like, a story. So this is different for me, okay? Like, it's very different for me, and it's just weird. It's not weird, but... I don't think I'm gonna do it today. It's not working. I don't, maybe I should just go try and do it in the bathroom again. Or, and yes, I have on the same jacket from like the beginning of the vlog, I think. But right, right now, um, trying to like i guess you would say declutter i don't know if you consider it decluttering what would you call it i'm trying to i think i'm about to have to like i need to get rid of some more clothes i have way too much stuff and i don't have enough room for it so i have to clear out some more like i have to be realistic with myself like girl you're not gonna wear that stuff you're you're never it's outfits in my closet stuff that i've never worn and i'm like I might end up getting something that might look good with that. Or I might end up putting something together with that they could look good. But really, I probably never will. So all those items, I just need to be real with myself and get rid of it. Because I don't have any room. Like, I, I really don't have any room. My clothes are smothering each other at this point. Like, I have to, like, work out and spread my clothes in order to put the other piece of clothing in my closet if you get what i'm saying so yeah i definitely need room and i need to clear out real bad but i'm watching this podcast right now um don't know if y'all know but like a, like while i was on my little break but i think before i started taking my little break or whatever i got really into podcasts and one of my favorite podcasts i think i've actually talked about it on my channel before but i love the dear future wifey podcast i haven't watched it in a while but um right now i'm watching the latest one that he just posted i think he actually just posted is today the 26th Oh no, today's the 27th. So he posted this vlog, this, this vlog. He posted this one yesterday. It's um, titled Purpose Driven Love. And it's basically about, well, he has, his guest is this judge, Amber Givens. I've never heard of her, but basically, I guess it's just about her. Um, I just started, but what I'm getting is just going to be how she is very focused like on her purpose and what she's supposed to be doing in life and um she's just very focused on like her purpose and what she's supposed to be doing in life and he was just like he was like one thing that he noticed about her is that she's very focused on her purpose that she doesn't have time for her purpose partner because <laughs> uh, obviously as it's titled dear future wife most of the time he has like couples on here or he'll have single people you know everybody in like different dating phases of their life or whatever um but i just find it crazy how this is the one that dropped now so i'm just listening to it um because this year I really do want to be focused and grounded on whatever God has for me. Like, I'm to the point where I don't want to force things. I don't want to prolong things. I just want to be very, very sure. Um, and I want to 
be sure that I have the gift, gift, the gift of discernment and I want to make sure that I'm able to hear God's voice um, clearly whenever he is speaking to me. Um, I don't want to try to, I don't want to be in control, basically. I don't want to try to control everything. I just really, really want to make sure that I'm giving God full control over my life and really listening to him when he says things and just letting him do what's best for me and whatever he has for me in my life. Um, so yeah, I would just... With with that, it's like I'm not going to force myself to continue to do things that I know doesn't bring me joy. Um, like, I've really been realizing, I don't know if I talked about that in this, I think I was talking about that in this vlog. But like, literally creating content and stuff makes me happy. I love creating content. Now that actually puts a smile on my face and I can have a really, really good day if my whole day is filled with me creating content, editing, whatever the case may be. Um, now I do not get that same feeling when I go and do nails, honestly, but like I was talking to my therapist about this and she was like, but like, that's the beauty of it. We all have our own journey. The way that I was doing nails and I stopped doing nails and I went back, like it's just the beauty of life and how we all are just figuring it out, you know? So it's absolutely nothing wrong with doing whatever makes you happy like it doesn't go back start over whatever the case may be quit again start over quit again <laughs> like now don't be a quitter but just do whatever makes you happy in this life because you only have one so if there's anything that isn't making you happy or isn't bringing you joy isn't bringing you peace don't get me wrong you are supposed to be your own peace before anything else can bring you peace whether that's a person materialistic things any of that you have to find peace within first before anything on the outside can do anything for you um but if anything isn't adding to your peace you know if, if it's taking away your peace let it go it doesn't matter what it is whether that's a person or a thing but i didn't start at ranting about ranting about a whole lot of other stuff <laughs> like what are you talking about let me get to these clothes because that's what really matters right now y'all i know this is a bad angle but <laughs> i'm on the way to drop off my car right now to the shop and get uh, my rental car I have you down here because I need to be paying attention to say that I ain't trying to wreck again. So that's why I'm not even paying attention to the camera. But I wanted to give y'all an update. Um, one thing though, that did, oh, I got my nails done too. I got my nails and toes done. So that makes me feel better. A little self care. I love getting my nails and toes done. My toes look super, super pretty. I love them. I got bubble bath on them. Um, and I've never just got plain bubble bath but it looks so pretty on my feet so i'm really happy with that um another thing that made me happy well that brightened my day i got my package in from fashion nova finally so um we're gonna open that when i get back home <sighs> i'm just so happy to be getting the rental car i wanted to give y'all a quick update but I'm really ready to get back home so that I can open up my package. And Braxton is still at his grooming appointment. I feel like I'm just talking so much with my hands. But Braxton is still at his grooming appointment. Um, he had a few knots or his hair was matted in a few areas because Braxton doesn't like getting his hair brushed. Like, he just does it. And then even the lady called me and she was like, he's not letting her brush. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't understand because it's not like it's his first time. He's gotten groomed probably about, like, he's gotten groomed a few times. Because he was, like, on a schedule routine every few weeks or whatever. But, yeah, he's still at his appointment. So, hopefully by the time I'm getting my rental car, or by the time I'm done getting my rental car, 
he'll be ready so I can pick him up on the way back home so I don't have to go back out again until later on when I'm leaving because tonight is gonna be fun but I'll tell y'all more about that later because I know y'all probably hate this angle so we'll talk more when we are at a better angle I wish my eyes looked like that for real. That's cute. They always look like that in the sun though. It's nothing new. Push and pee. That is not very pee of them. Like for real, that is not very pee of them. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna have to give y'all an update on like what's going on because no i do not have my rental and when we get back to the house we're still gonna do the fashion overhaul but um oh my god this camera's so dark lighten up girl i'm coming to come pick up braxton he's done with his grooming Oh my God, it's so cold. Oh. Hi. Hey. Relax. I got it. I got it as close to the photo as I could. There's uh -huh. something weird going on with his eyes. Like, not like anything like was wrong with him. It's like, uh -huh. it's like when they were shaking on his nose, they were taking out this stuff uh -huh. too. So like, see that really puffy right here? I couldn't, so it's not, so it's still round, it's short, but it's round. Okay. But this part under his eyes. Yeah, it is like right. flat. Yeah, like yeah. all this right in here. Yeah. Um, it looks like they took that off. With yeah, they used to make it like so, it was so yeah, like, he used to look like an old man. I was, I was trying to get it like super round. Yeah. And I kept brushing it. I was like, this is not even right. yeah. <laughs> I was like, go to the front counter. Do you want to okay. take some with you or paint him back? It's up to you. Um, no, I'll paint until okay. back. He's so skinny. Now they're gonna be like, who is that? I know, I hate the longer than what I want. He's still not like butt cut short. Say, <laughs> so yeah, I got my cut. Mommy doesn't usually, mommy is so scared of me to be this short, but I actually don't look that bad. But this is really showing my true size now. <laughs> Cause y'all be thinking Braxton obese and look how small he really is. <laughs> y'all really be thinking he is so big. When really he is so not. Like, y'all see this? Y'all see how little he is? Oh, he see that other dog over there. Y'all, it's cold. Let me hurry up. They got me back around. <laughs> Braxton, sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down. Whose dog is that? Braxton, we pushing P, pushing P, pushing P, pushing P. I'm pushing P. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, we gonna close the mouth cause you look a little scary when you open your mouth up now with your haircut. You scared, you look a little scary. You don't look like the same dog. Um, pushing P. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay, girl, let's just get into this package. Oh, I think I'm gonna try to stuff on on the side so y'all can see, like, maybe like insert a little paper something over here to the side of me trying to stuff on. We got some boots, okay. I guess now I'm gonna do boots last. Okay, first things first, I got this orange crop jacket to go with my dunks that I got. Oh, this is so cute. So I got this crop jacket. I know this is gonna be cute. Oh, wait, let me do it on this side. So yeah, I got this crop jacket. Let me zoom out so I can have space to even show y'all the um little side clip of it. So yeah, I got this jacket. It's just a cropped orange jacket. I know it's gonna be so cute. I can't wait. 
Um, I got it in a size small too, by the way. Excuse me, sir. That song just stuck in my head after I made that reel to it today. Um, next, I got two pair of jeans because I don't. Oh, I don't know if it was y'all that I was telling, but I think it was. I think I talked about this in a vlog, but literally, I need to just discard all of the jeans that I have in my closet because I can't fit any of them. They're a size three, and like every single, I don't know why. For it took me so long to just realize, okay, maybe I need to go down a size. Like maybe you just need to go down because. All of them are too big. Like, but some of them, I'm not gonna lie, some of them, they will fit around the butt, but be way too big around the waist. But honestly, they they just be too big. And I'm tired of it. Like, every single pair of pants I get, they be too big. So I brought it down a couple notches. <laughs> not really. But I ordered, I've been ordering size ones. And I've found that I just really, really love Fashion Nova pants, jeans, whatever the case may be. And most of the time, they always fit perfect so i'm gonna just stick with ordering my pants from where i know they're gonna you know be cute from and fit how they're supposed to fit um instead of wasting all this money trying out different companies and stuff and ordering pants when they always let me down hey sir 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 can you sit down for me can you sit down for me please sit down Oh, good job. Hey, 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 that don't mean start biting. I got these jeans. Oh, I just know these gonna be so cute. I got these jeans. I have a few flip. I have a few flare jeans, but like I said, none of them fit. They're too big. And honestly, it's like if I wanted them to fit, I would have to take my whole closet to go get altered. And who about to do that? I may as well just order new ones. Seriously. So, I got these in a size 1. I love this color denim. This blue. I don't know. I just really, really love this color. I feel like it goes well with a lot of different stuff. Like, I could wear black with this brown. Because you know certain denims, like, don't really look good with a lot of different stuff. So, yeah. I grabbed this pair of shorts in a size one because I have so many shorts. And I really feel like shorts you can wear in the fall and summertime. You can wear some shorts with like thigh high boots. Like, ooh, shorts with boots. So yeah, I'm really excited about these because I have so many shorts and I have so many outfits that I do like. I could wear a pair of denim shorts with that um, and some boots or something. But none of them fit. And I just have so many clothes that don't fit. And that's not what I'm doing this year, okay? I'm ordering stuff that I'm gonna really be able to wear. You feel me? <laughs> hey. Okay, so these are the other pair of jeans that I got. So I got these just regular skinny jeans. Cause I needed a pair of these that can fit too. You know, no um, rips or anything. Just a basic pair of jeans. I don't have a pair of those that fit me. I got those in the, all these are in size one. Um, what is this? Oh, I got these pants. Uh, these brown pants with fringe on the side. I hope they fit. I got them in the extra small. They look like they're gonna fit. I feel like they're gonna be super cute. And then I plan on pairing this up with um one of the skims tops, but she's literally sold out of like everything, so I'm waiting on her to restock so that i can order them but i got these in an extra small y'all are gonna see them like up on the side they're super cute i hope that they fit like how they fit the model because i don't have a bbl or anything but since i got them in an extra small it should make me look like i got a little shump shump back there and then lastly oh well other than my boots i got this brown jumpsuit I should have got a gray one. I need a gray jumpsuit, honestly. Um, because all of my jumpsuits are spaghetti strap. It's y'all. It's y'all. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Because at this point, it's just like... When I turn this camera around... Today is Saturday. Let's just say that. Today is Saturday. And 
I am taking the initiative to really, really actually declutter and get rid of stuff that I don't need. Cause y'all, I don't have any room. I don't have any room. And I'm just on a whole nother type of vibe this year. Like I don't want to be holding on to stuff like that I just know I don't need. I want to actually invest in quality pieces of clothing, shoes, bags, all that. You know, I don't want just like, I don't want quality. I want, I mean, I don't want quantity. I want quality pieces, okay? So I don't want a whole lot of whole lot of, I want nice staple pieces for my closet, whether it's shoes, bags, shades, clothes, the whole nine, I want everything to just be like quality and a nice piece. So I'm clearing out, I'm clearing out bags, shoes, everything, okay? I'm clearing out, my room is a disaster right now. My room is a disaster, but I know I'm gonna feel so much better once I just feel like, I've wiped everything clear, you know? I don't know why I just have this feeling, but I just feel like I'm gonna feel so much better once I get rid of a lot of this stuff. Um, now, I'm about to turn around the camera, but before I turn around this camera, I'm gonna just let y'all know this. Don't judge me, okay? Cause I'm clearing out. Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> so, um, this closet, which has like this little thing of sandals, slides, whatever the case may be. Um, it's about to get cleared out. I'm probably going to get rid of like almost everything that's right here. Honestly. Closet. I just cleared out the jeans that I don't need or don't plan on ever wearing that don't fit me. Whatever the case may be. I just cleared out all those. Still doesn't look like. I really wanted it to like be super clear. But. I still actually like these so yeah um that's that then up under here I have my perfumes and shades and then right here was like sweaters hoodies um and then sweatpants over here I've cleared out this area to the hoodies and sweatshirts that I don't want um I still feel like I should let some of this stuff go to be honest it's the colors. The colors is it's not doing it for me. Like I don't like all these colors to be honest. But it's not like I don't want color in my wardrobe. But I just don't like the way they look in my closet. It doesn't match my aesthetic. So it's like I really want to get rid of clothes because they don't match my aesthetic. But then again, like I can't only wear black, white, gray, brown. <laughs> I mean I could, but no, that's not me. So yeah, um, I've cleared out this. Now, the room, that's, I'm, I'm finna turn around, and that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So, right here is clothes that I recently ordered. So, these are new clothes um, that just came in. All that right there in this this bag this new now this I've had since my birthday last not last year the year before last and I still haven't worn it um, but I'm gonna keep it then right here is the bag of pants that I'm getting rid of um, and I'm getting rid of these Ugg boots because they've just been sitting in my closet. I never ever wear them. They're the ones with the bow on them. I think I'm going to take this stuff to Goodwill or something and just donate it. Um, And then the little purses. I'm, I think I'm going to take the purses to the Goodwill as well. Or like somewhere for like little girls or something. Um, And then some of it I think I'm going to take to. I may. I might. I might take two what's that place called Plato's I might I don't know I haven't decided but most of it I think I'm gonna take to like um a shelter or something for th some girls who you know may need some boots they may want some little purses whatever so yeah um okay <sighs> now over here shoes these shoes right here I have to go through well these aren't really tennis shoes those are like 
probably all heels obviously their ego so yeah most of those are heels but these are um purses these are the purses that i'm gonna get rid of and then i need my box for my yeezys it's not here um okay over here i'm definitely getting well i've cleared this over here out too and all of that stuff is already in the bag and it's closed up tied up all that some of this stuff i feel like i'm still holding on to because it's just like i might have something to go with it but it's it's like girl just get rid of it and just order something else you know just get rid of it so you can order your new quality pieces um but i just don't want to get rid of everything and then i have nothing you know i don't know outfit over in the other mirror but i still have to put on my perfume for the night so i think i'm gonna wear a killian um because personally killian has been my favorite to do miss killian girl okay i feel like i look so like mm -mm, period <laughs> so let me put on my perfume Killian smells so good. I wish I had something to like mix it with. I wonder what's really good to like mix Killian with. Y'all know Kyra be swimming in her perfume, so that's what I'm gonna do tonight, y'all. <laughs> and then I'm putting on my blazer, but I'm just throwing it over the shoulder um, because obviously it's cold outside. So I'm just throwing the blazer over the shoulder. Maybe I should just let it hang off one. No, I like it on both sides. I haven't did a matte lip in so long, y'all. Yes, ma'am. So this is the look. My camera, I mean, not my camera. My mirror is dirty. Let me zoom in for y'all. So yeah, this is the look for the night. Um, I have on this black top bodysuit from Shein. These tights are actually from Jerly She. They were a set. This blazer is from Boohoo, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Bag is from TJ Maxx. And these heels are ego y'all i need to vacuum my floor i need to clean my mirror but i ended up having to like rush and get ready because i thought that this was a later at night type of event but my mama called me and she was like you getting ready the event started seven and it was like about to be six i was like oh oh <laughs> hold on miss thing <laughs> i ain't know it was that soon so yeah also y'all see i've been whitening my teeth i think it's starting to work teeth looking real white baby so yeah we're about to head out um we're already running late so see that y'all heard her we finna go bye bye